Hello and welcome to our compliance management solution that is company certification and I'm your host Asim Khan. Today I'm going to demonstrate you how you can meet compliance management requirements using our solution that is company certification compliance management solution. So here we start as a manager we are logged in as a manager the company name is QMS demo the nature of the company is to provide uh, software services on the dashboard manager can see the navigation bar on the at the top where you can see where you can define your users employees you can initiate an internal memo or a blog like for any announcement uh, a learning center is ideally to familiarize your employees about the terms and terminology used in a specific standard. Document center is, is designed to create and to distribute all documents related to the standard. Task planning or the event calendar is focused more towards the planning phase. Uh, task recording are the evidence, the records required by the system or the standard. Contact section is designed for customer and supplier records. The training section is designed to test your employees' knowledge via quiz online or training videos. Form section is designed to define either customized forms or forms like customer feedback form and extra. Uh, shout box, usually it's an inside messenger sort of a thing. Support ticket, if you need any help, you can always raise the support ticket from here. And the last company setup, it's only available if you have manager rights. Here you can define your company. You basically start setting up the basics about the company, like what are the departments, machine designations. You can add all these here. And that's all about the overview of the dashboard. Furthermore, the manager can also see the river of news, the progress from, from his dashboard. Okay, as a manager now, what we, we are trying to do is go in user account. We can monitor who are our employees, who are our auditors, and we can even print their employee cards. So what are memos and blogs? Ideally, if a owner of a company or a manager wants to announce something within his organization, he can initiate a memo. Memo usually has a date, a title, it can be, for example, and any other description he wants to get. The good part is if he wants to notify his group members he can tick mark them and an email notification will be sent to them directly from this application. So this is an example of a memo we just created. We can even comment on those memo if we need to and we can even print those memos if we have the right. Next we're gonna move to learning center. Learning center is for the employees to know the vocabulary of the standards, the basic terms, terminology. An example of a learning center terminology for ISO 9000 is this. Uh, we have got three approaches to learn either using flashcards, flashcards are also audio supported, then we have learning example and finally we have scatter diagrams. The idea is using all these three tools uh, we, can, we can help a person to learn better about the terminology related to the standard.
Now we'll go to our document center. Document center is a place to create, to distribute, to print documents. It's also a place to control your documents. If you want to create a document, you can just click the link, create document. Okay, so whenever we have to create a document, first we have to define the type of the document, whether it's a manual, it's a procedure, whether it's a job description. And once you define that, you can either paste the existing documents or you can write your own. You can also link the documents uh, with the other departments or other people and you can also set the status of the document whether it's obsolete it's under review finally you can also make a barcode of your documents an example of your document gonna be in your document center for example a test procedure which is barcoded so here is an example of a test procedure which is approved by, a, by the CEO it's responsible. You can check the changes if there are any revisions related to this document. So here are the changes related to this document highlighted. So it keeps the record of uh, document revisions and its control. You can also access the dictionary for reference purpose and access the job description center outside this website. We're going to move to task planning which are events we plan. This is the calendar view of your upcoming events. You can filter all your events if they are related to audit plan, if they are related to your management review meetings or any other training plans you can always filter them. Furthermore, you can create an event very easily. So after doing your documentation, you are in your planning phase where you plan an event. There is a responsible person, you no notify the people. And you save the event along with the date. I'm sorry, yeah, you need the date. Okay, so the, here's this event we just created. It's ordered on 2013 and these are the dates. You can see in upcoming events as well. Now we're going to move to task records. Basically our task center, all the listed tasks which are either open or closed, they are all listed here. You can monitor your tasks through Gantt chart as an example. <clears throat> Furthermore, you can drill down the task. Again, you have your projects, your CPA log, which is corrective preventive action logs, your non-conformance log, which are your audit non-conformance raised in any audit. They are all details. You have got your product non-conformance logs. You can even print the list. I'm afraid they are right now not there as a record. You can have your meeting logs and so. So if you want to create a task, let me show you how it looks. Since tasks can be of any nature uh, for compliance, we have different nature of tasks. Order tasks we have. We have corrective preventive action tasks. We have calibration tasks. We have our customer feedback record tasks, document changes. So there are various tasks we can do it. For example, if you take our machine maintenance task, we have to give it a name, a title.
some description if needed. We can identify which machine will be maintained. Either this maintenance is going to be a preventive maintenance or a breakdown maintenance. Any replacement we're going to do, who will be responsible. Same department, we can choose the, the department related to it and the date. So this is our new task. This task can be commented further and its progress can be monitored. So we can change the progress and once it's completed, it will be uh, closed in your task log as a resolved task. Now we're going to move to our contacts section which relates to our customer and supplier only. Ideally, all organizations have their customers and suppliers. They are supposed to be centralized for a compliance purpose. Uh, for supplier, for, in, for instance, in ISO, we require them to be evaluated on a regular basis. And as far as the customers are concerned, we want them, we, can, we should have their customer feedback on a regular basis. So this is our customer center. We can define, you know, we can check one, for example, our customer or a contact. So any details related to this contact records are all automatically attached with the contact. So Amazon is one of our customer. This is the concerned person. The status is active. And this is the basic address. In this record, it relates to an activity which is related to this customer. Now we we gonna go to the training center. In the training center, you can see the listed courses available. If you're authorized, you can start the course. It's usually a multiple choice questions and completion of this course you'll be graded. So here are the result of this course. It gives you the feedback, what was wrong, what is correct. You can review your result, not only your attempts, but you can also download your certificate. This is a special view only available to the managers. They can view the grades of all their employees in their organization. Now we're going to move to our form section. The form section is ideally designed for integration with your existing ERP system or any other software application which can communicate with the internet. So we have one customer feedback form. It's more customized to the existing company. So the customers you see in the list are related to them. And same happens with the product and services or the departments. So it's completely customized to the organization. You can submit the form and you can access the results of the form if you have the rights. For instance, these are the results of the customer feedback form. It can be downloaded in PDF format as well. Now we're going to move to Shoutbox. It's more like a messenger uh, where you have to announce something important within the team. It works under Shoutbox. Finally, the support ticket. Whenever you need our help, please feel free to hit this button. Just add a support ticket with the appropriate title and the type. And we'll try to reply you within 24 hours. Okay, so I hope you like our today's presentation about Compliance Outlook. Uh, you can join us again uh, either on our website, through our YouTube channel or on LinkedIn. Our website address again, I repeat, it's www.companycertification.com. Thank you very much. Allah.